so we get a lot of questions about, well, why can't I just keep using the, the extended range flat fan that I've always used? You know, if I keep that at low pressure, it has pretty good drift control. And of course, nobody questions the coverage. The coverage is always good with a with extended range flat fan nozzle. And the answer is, you know, if you were still spraying with a tractor mounted sprayer like you did 30 years ago, going one speed and one pressure, you know, the extended range nozzles and some of the pre orvis type nozzles were decent, decent nozzles for uh, giving you good coverage and drift control. But in, in this era where guys are using self-propelled sprayers, traveling at, at a much wider range of speeds and, and therefore pressures, you've got to have a nozzle that has a, a much wider operating range of pressure and speed. So if you take an air induction nozzle like a turbo drop, you can operate it across a wider range, say 30 to 120 PSI, and get very good drift control, uh, get the kind of gallon per acre rate changes that you need when you change speed without creating a, a, a huge amount of fog that you would out of a standard flat fan if you, if you change, say, from 8 miles an hour up to 16 miles an hour, which is a double, double the speed, which means four times the pressure. Uh, so with a, with a conventional nozzle, you'd probably exceed the pressure range, and even if you didn't, you would certainly create a whole lot of drift. And that's where the, uh, the air induction or Venturi-style nozzles come into play. They have a much wider operating range of pressure. Um, as, you, as you increase your pressure, yes, you do get a little bit smaller droplet, but it doesn't go into that fine category usually uh, unless you're at extremely high pressure. Uh, and it translates that pressure into canopy penetration, and so you get the coverage that you want out of a flat fan, but you get the drift control of a, of a low pressure style nozzle.